Bill Bachman here for VicFirth.com. I have a fancy little lick I'm going to play for you. It's actually the first chunk of my solo Ubiquitous Illness. Now, if you don't know what ubiquitous means, I encourage you to look it up because we're all about education here, right? All right, so this is something, it's in a book by Tapspace called Violent Tenor Cream. So by all means, grab up that book. It's full of all kinds of good stuff. Classic 92, Santa Clara Vanguard, etc. It's excellent. All right, so here we go. Here's the lick starting at bar X after the simple stuff. So here we go. It's just that easy, folks. So let me break this down for you. This lick was actually written for a drum festival. It was a Drummers for Jesus festival, and there was this click that went And so I'm thinking, that's what I got to work with? And so all those big bum, those lock right in with that. And then given that tempo restrictions, other stuff had to be pretty fast. So it was kind of a gear shifter of stops and starts and goes and slows and all like that. So first thing, no problem. When in doubt, don't rush, but free stroke it. Whatever you do, don't pound individually, right? Free, free, down, down. Now the first little fast lick is a paradiddle into a seven stroke roll, technically. So, so Alpha Spock, paradiddle, two scrapes, and then a drum one, there, and ideally, it has that effect, especially when you add the voicing of the quads to it. And incidentally, one of the coolest things about a quadruped is there are no tones. So you cannot cheat using the sort of melody coming from the drums. It's kind of like a snare drum. It's monotone and dull, or it's cool, so it's up to you. So from there, there's a single that goes across. And here again, just because you're going here to there, whatever you do, don't sort of tighten up and micromanage. This is your eight on a hand scale. That's probably in your eight on a hand and that too, right? So if you interlace those, there you go. Now you have another bu -bu -bu -bum, kind of answering on drum three. So you start on the tonic drum four with the very first bu -bu -bu -bum. Fill bu -bu -bu -bum is your sort of answer, call and response kind of thing. So here's that first little chunk from A to B slow. You'd have that right there. So a little slower. One and two and three and four. Put a little crescendo across that if you can, although it happens pretty quickly up the speed. So that's that first little chunk. Now from there, da, 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 we have a little Swiss pickup and a sort of a flam drag, 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 and then another pair did a little straight down the drums to a rim shot on drum four. All right, so that lick there you have, you start on drum three, a little slower. From that rim shot on drum four, we go into some cross fives. And the first one, we start on drum three for the heck of it, and they're centered on drums one and two. So cross fives are absolute standard quad player vocabulary. You gotta know them and hopefully everybody can play them, and then you play them. So basically you have one, two, three, four, five, and you answer back one, two, three, four, five. There's a whole lesson on cross fives. If you look through vicfirth.com, link it up. I did a whole thing on cross fives, so study that. So we play a bunch of them on drums one and two because it's local and it's kind of easy to say. Okay? Once you get the feel for these, you can reef them pretty well. It's all about sort of molar groups of five. Okay, not gonna go a full lesson on this, but molar is a whip stroke. So one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. And the left hand plays the same thing. And if you interlace them, so it's not straight singles and it's not accent tap, it's somewhere in the middle, just right. So the cross fives between drums one and two, starting on three, you have eight of them. Okay, a little slower. A 
and then another boom, 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 boom for that theme. And that goes into three normal cross fives, which use the outside drums. Three, one, two, one, one, and then four, two, one, two, two. So starting on the cross five sections, you have So there's another from this B back to the A. So that chunk again, you'd have one, two, three, four, five, six. And that lands on Spock. So that's the whole cross five section. Now the Spock roll starts a forte piano roll. So just real simple Spock, and then it grows onto the bigger drums. Incidentally, you can think of Spock as your quiet drum. A lot of people think about the voicing and it's way up there, so when they really want that pack just to really pop through, they write Spock. But the problem is, if you're playing unison with snares, the Spock is almost gone. So it's kind of like this is your quietest drum. So crescendoing, not only do I do it dynamically with my hands, but the drums themselves and the voicing lends itself to that. All right. So from there, we got a really fun roll where it's one, two, three, one, two, three. So just, and then down to four and back up. So one, two, three, one, two, three, four, three, two, one, three, two, one. Okay, weird to think slow, but. Now at that point, let me put that together. So we're gonna do the, from the Spock Forte piano all the way through that roll. Okay. Now that should be sort of one long crescendo, and as you get faster, it's really interesting to play while crossed over. So sometimes you got to go a little bit French grip just to find that playing area. And incidentally about that, your main playing area on drum two would be here. But if your drum's in tune, that distance away from the rim, anywhere you go, you're going to have the same quality sound. So when I'm crossed over here, I'm likely to go for this sort of upper corner, if you will, of that drum, just in order to give my hand some room. So that's the roll part. Now from there, we have some paradiddle diddles. I'm East Coast, from the East Coast, and we do tend to play paradiddle diddles there. It is what it is. And so what I've chosen to do is have a little bit of fun with it. So we have crossovers on the left. So the first two paradiddle diddles, the left goes over to drum three. So paradiddle, paradiddle. Then the third one, it's an opposite where it's cr right crossed over to drum four. So paradiddle. So four, three, 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 two, two. And then one more, paradiddle. So there's four paradiddles in a row. You have left over, left over, right over, left over. So a little bit slower. So after those four paradiddle diddles in a row, we have some threes. First I do it just to set you up. It's one, four, three, two, and then two scrape threes. Well, four scrape threes, you have one, three, three, one, three, three, then right to the two, four, four, two, four, four. And at that point, let me put that together. So the paradiddle diddles and the threes. Okay, best not to rush those threes like I just did. One more shot, a little slower. Now, when you play these scrape, these figure eight threes, kind of a right, left, make sure that this hand comes up and turns legitimately. And this left hand, you might want to follow through a little bit extra so that this right forearm can get down there because you don't want to dive bomb where all your rebound's gone. So, ooh. So if you haven't yet, spend about an hour going and don't speed it up for that hour, and you'll be amazed at what happens afterwards. So, at that point, you have da 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 dum da 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 dum bigga 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 bong So, I guess that's a single 17, if we get rudimental about it. And it's crossed over just as a crowd pleaser. This is as easy as that, but it looks cool. So, from the threes to the end, And it's real easy to just rush that da 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 dum da 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 after all that intense action. But you got to remember, this whole lick has a whole bunch of gear shifts from fast to slow, slow to fast. 
So let me do this for you. I'm going to play the whole thing one more time, nice and under tempo, and I'm going to try to keep it in the pocket, even though I'm used to thinking a lot faster. But here it is slow, from the top. Hard not to rush those kind of like eighth notes at the end. Hard not to rush those kind of like eighth notes at the end. But that's the whole lick. One more time, full hype speed, just for fun. And there you go, ubiquitous illness, that's the first chunk, learn it, love it, buy the book, learn the whole solo, and you can actually get it through tap space, and if you look real carefully down here in the description, you will find a link, and buy it, you will love it. There's a whole lot of good stuff in it. All right, thanks you all so much, and I'll see you next time.